so guys um in the first part of the video i talk about how to major and how to cut an english trouser and in this part this second part i'm going to talk about um some of the things you need how to form it first of all and um how to, to sew it and in the next part which is going to be the third part we're going to talk about how to iron it and how to do the hemming so this part is going to cover only the sewing so this is the pocket that i'm going to be using for this trouser and um this trouser the pocket is um 14.5 inch long hopefully you can see it and the wideness range um the wideness is 7.5 and upper part is 6.5 the upper part of the uh, of the pocket is always lower um than the uh, lower part of the the pocket now with that being said so the next thing i'm going to be talking about now i'm going to talk about now is this this is the the trouser this is the pocket so i'm going to show you something here this is the outer part outer outside of the trouser on the right side of the trouser and this is the pocket you can you can see that there is a hemming gum here this is how i do i comb the hemming gum the wideness of the hemming gum ranges between 2 to 1.5 1.5 to 2 inch and um here is how to do the gumming make sure it's at the middle of it so now the next thing I'm going to do here is very simple. I'm going to fold this my pocket like this and make sure it goes along the place all the parts you notched. And then we are going to do the ironing right now. So now to do the ironing is very simple. Going... Your folding should be on the wrong side and not the right side. You are folding it on the wrong side of the clothes. And then the next thing I'm going to do, we don't want this place to be outside. I'm going to fold it inside. If you want, you can leave it like this. It's fine. So I'm going to even leave my own like this. I'm not going to touch it anymore. Then I'll go to the right side and make sure I iron it down perfectly. So um, this is how it looks. So this is the pocket mount. And um, this is the main pocket. The next thing I'm going to be showing you now is the pocket facing. This is the pocket facing. So you are going to be, um, this is the pocket facing. This pocket facing, I, I've already done the bending. I bend it to the wrong side of the material. This is the bending of the pocket facing. Um, maybe in the process of sewing, I'm going to show you how it's done. And um, now this is the flap. This is the flap, the front flaps. This is the two-sided flap. I'm going to show you later in the video how to use them. And um, don't forget, before we go into the sewing side part, if you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel now. And if you drive any value from the video, like the video. Thank you. Now let's proceed. So now here I want to show you how the pocket is done. Press the trouser down, then open where you bent that time. Open it up like this. Hopefully you can see it. Then this is the top of our pocket. Then I'm going to place the top of our pocket on top of the um the trouser. Then you are going to do like this. So when you are, once you are done, there's one thing I want you to pay close attention to here. It is very, very important. This is what I want you to pay close attention to. Make sure that the pocket and the trouser are the same here while ignoring this part here. Make sure that this part here, where I'm, I'm, talk, I'm pointing now, should be, the, should be equal with the pocket. Now, so the next thing we are going to do after this, so I'm going to be showing you, show, showing you this. So the next thing we are going to do, you make sure that this place and this place are equal. Then you are going to run a stitch from here down to this place. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. Run a stitch from here down to this place. Then I'll show you the next step. So guys, I've already run the stitches. This is the stitch I was talking about. Then this is the wrong side uh, also. So the next thing we are going to do from here now, look at this uh, little notch here. You know that this notch is only on the trouser. I'm going to do the same thing on the uh, on the pockets. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Be careful when you are doing the notching. So guys, I've already done the notching. So I'm going to show you the next step. From the next thing you are going to do from here is this. Look at where you bend. This time around, you are going to fold it like this. I'm going to fold it like this. Let me put it down so that you can see it clearly. I'm going to fold it like this. So once you've done the folding, you will come to the right side. This is the right side of our material now. So you come to the right side and you are going to run a nice stitch along the pocket here while you keep this one bent in. So I'll show you when I'm done. So guys, I'm already done with the stitches already. Hopefully you can see the stitch. Yeah, you can see it clearly and this is the wrong side of it. So the next thing you are going to do now, you are going to separate the pocket from the, um, from the trouser like this. Hope you can see how I separated them. Then the next thing you are going to do, you are going to sew this one singly on this pocket. Yeah, you're going to sew it like this. Hopefully, you can see I've separated them from each other. Then this is where you're going to stitch. Make sure you went the result. 
so guys i've already done that so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to do the ironing of the what i just done this one i made this i'm going to iron it down for a very neat work a professional one make sure you are always ironing your clothes and have your cooler with you cooler is very very important i'm really sorry for the steam of the iron so i'm uh, already done with this so guys now pay attention to the, the next thing we are going to be doing now is this is very simple we are, uh, i was talking about the pocket face in that time this is where this is the right time for you to place the pocket facing. So this is the pocket facing I was talking about. So we are going to place the pocket facing in like this. Um then you are going to run a stitch from here down to this point. Then you are going to do the same thing on the um second pocket of this trouser. So guys, I've already attached the pocket facing. So the next thing I'm going to do now is very simple. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this thing. You can either fold it like this and um equalize it with um, this one hold it like this that that is by doing something like this hope you can see this and um, you, you are going to use your weaving machine to weave it from here around the pocket this is one of the simplest way of doing it you weave it around the pocket or the second method the second method is this you are going to turn it inside yeah you are turning it inside yes you are going to turn it inside like this you turn it inside and you are going to so i was talking about this so this is where you are going to sew along this point then you are going to, when you reach this place here the place you notch here when you reach this place you are going to stop somewhere here maybe half inch away from where you know where we notch earlier in the video then i'll show you when i'm done so guys i've already done the stitches this is the stitches i was talking about that time so talking about the, the notch this is where we notch earlier in the video hopefully you can see this notching point here uh, look at where i stop my stitches so i'm uh, halfway halfway from this point here so guys i'm gonna show you the next thing that i'm gonna be doing here and i'm gonna create one notch here hopefully you can see what i'm doing that is where i stopped so what i'm going to do now is this i'm going to turn it from this side to the right side now turn it out you can see so if you are yet to subscribe this is likely the good time for you to, do this, to subscribe so i've already turned it out from here i'm gonna shoot this uh disclose to you or review to you the next thing so the next thing i'm gonna do look at this point here i notch this point on my pocket hopefully you can see that notch this is the straight line of that pocket so you are going to hold it like this and um start all your stitches this this time around you are doing the top stitch of your pocket start the stitches from here down to this point and to this point i'll show you when i'm done so guys I i'm done with that already so the next thing we are going to be doing now is very simple this is the stitch top stitching i was talking about so this uh the pocket facing autom automatically set itself but you need to pay close attention to this point here we are going to do one small thing here which is taking note of the the number i'm going to be using here that is from this place to this place let me bring it very close to the camera so i can see I'm, I'm talking about from here to here it's going to be two inch make sure it's two inch please so yes i have my two inch already I have my two inch already so the next thing i'm going to do now is this um i'm going to run a double i'm going to double stitch here and i'm going to sew along from here to here then i'll show you the next step Stay tuned. So guys, I've already known what I was talking about. This is the stitches I was talking about, that time, and this is the second stitches I was talking about. So, this is the pocket mouth. So, the next thing, um, after that, you are going to iron it with your iron. Make sure that your work is very neat and perfect. And guys, you are going to re repeat this process on the second pocket. Then after that, um, you are going to do the joining of um, the side of the front panel and the back panel together. When we reach that stage, I'm going to show you how it is done. Um, so guys, this is the blanket, uh, the flap I was talking about. This is the bigger flap. This one is going to be on the left side of the, the of the trouser, and this one is going to be on the right side of the trouser. And I'm going to show you how to do the attachment very soon. But the, what I just want to show you now is how to join the back on uh, the back panel and the front panel together. The joining is going to be half of an inch, and you are going to start from here down to this point where you stitch here. Make sure that. You, you catch this pocket a little bit make sure that this is where you are going to pass i'll show you when i'm done 
so guys i've already done the stitches so the next thing i'm going to do now is very simple i'm going to be using my iron to open this uh seaming allowance here open it like this and iron it down to the end make sure you iron it perfectly and when i'm done i'll show you so guys before you even do the joining you must make sure that you, you weave the clothes so that uh, it will not be removing itself like this so i'm not going to weave this material so just for educational purpose but for you before you do the journey make sure you weave around the um the trouser before you do the journey so guys i'm already done with the open out of the seaming so i want to show you something here look at this point here this is the pocket side here so you are going to put hemi gum under it under this material here then you are going to gum it down because this is very very important so guys make sure you are also eye on the outer side of the seaming for a perfect work hope you can see what i'm talking about here so iron it perfectly so that there will be no wrinkle formation. So this time around, they also do the same thing on the other side of the, the, the material. This time I'm going to show you how to attach the flap that I was talking about. So guys, this is the right side of the material or of the trouser. So when attaching the flap is very simple. So your flap simply means you are folding, you are using other material to fold it from um, the right side to the wrong side. And when you are doing the attachment, you are simply going to attach it like this. So basically, this is how you are going to do the attachment. This is the zipper point that I notched. So you are going to do the attachment from here. And your sewing allowance is going to be like maybe a quarter of an inch from here um, up to this point here. I'll show you when I'm done. Oh guys, you can easily watch my video on how to fix a zipper, zipper fly. Check down, check in, check my videos. You will see. Oh, I'll drop the link in the description box so that you can easily watch the video on how to do it. Um, So guys, I'm already done with the 5 I'm um, sorry the flap already this is the inner side of the, the flap and this is the outer side i, I, I tag this place so you know there's there's still an open that is where the zipper is so i just try to to notch it here so the reason why i did this is because i want to take the um waist measurement first and here is how to take the waist measurement look at that point here and this is where i'm going to start assigning the where the pocket is i'm sorry the the, the belt hold or the belt loop is gonna be so you are going to start all the measurement from here now in order for you to determine the belt loop of your trouser it is very simple here is how to do it now you are going to measure from here towards this side um four of an inch that is from this point here so four inch so here is the four inch so that is the front belt loop then you are going to come back here then um come back here look at the, our sewing allowance point here you can see the, the the marking chalk here then you are going to measure from that place inward half inch so you hope this is our sewing allowance line here and from here to here is half inch then the next thing you are going to do now is this you are going to start measurement from here to this point um that is between here and here is uh, 9.5 then half of 9.5 that is um four point yeah four point seven four point six so this is where our side um belt loop is going to be first belt loop side belt loop and um, back belt loop and sewing allowance so you are going to do the same thing at, on, on, on the other side but now let's confirm our waist measurement you know our waist measurement is this nine um is, is um 29 right when we divide 29 by by four by two this time around it's gonna be 14.5 look at that 14.5 here you know it's very close to our sewing allowance line we're trying we're going to use this line here <laughs> where i marked so guys the next thing i'm going to do now this trouser is for uh, it is it, not going to have a belt a uh, belt loop this is uh, an adjuster trouser adjuster part so this is the adjuster that i'm going to be using for the trouser adjuster this is the adjuster that i'm going to be using I'm not going to use um belt loop on this trouser, but I just want to show you this so that you have a good knowledge of um, um belt loop. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to um uh, do this as in try to complete the the flap. Then yeah, please, I want you to take note of one thing, and it is not any other thing but this. So make sure you balance the flap. Once you balance the flap very well, you are going to take note of this uh this place this place here you are going to mark this place yeah where i'm correctly i'm correctly marking these uh, flaps so that it will go along with the trouser so that there will not be a wrinkle formation 
because when we are joining when, when i'm going to join the the waistband let me remove where i tagged so when i'm going to join the waistband this is that is where i'm going to start from for example this one this is where i'm going to start from where i marked and you can see that look at where i mark and look at where the main trouser is there's a, a, a difference so you are you are going to make sure that i start all your stitches from there so this is exactly what i'm talking about so that there will be not be a wrinkle formation i'll show you when i'm going to join the waistband how it is done but briefly let me show you the waistband i'm going to be using and then show you this the features of the waistband this is the waistband that i like i told you earlier the wideness of my waistband is 1.5 cloth gum you can use soft color gum and cloth gum so then after you do the gumming you now fold it like this and you also fold this one this is going to be the inner side of the waistband and this is the outer side of the waistband so guys and when you are doing the joining it's very simple you are going to fold it like this then you start the attachment from where i really marked with my marking chalk then these are going to start um your um joining but before that we need to uh, join this place together before we do that so guys let me show you let me briefly show you this i was talking about the hip that time so now this is where i mean we are going to put the hip into consideration you know the hip of this client of mine is 39 that time so 39 39 divided by 2 that is about 19.5 and this is where i'm going to put the the the, the hip into consideration when we divide the this thing our hip by 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 two we are going to have um 19.5 so this is where i'm going to this is where my stitch is going to pass so now concerning the waist this is how to take the waist measurement from here to this point which is 14.5 so i'm going to make it 15 it's fine it's nothing wrong with it so you are going to do the marking ladder and your stitches is going to you're going to run your stitches from here um far along uh, the hip line um the hip well the hip points as in where i really mark the hip here so so when you do this, there won't be a problem like tightening of hip or whatsoever anymore. So after you, I sew this one to this point here, you're not going to complete it. You're going to stop around here. Then you are going to use your iron to open it up like this. And um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So guys, I've already done what I was telling you. So the next thing I'm going to do, I've already separated the seam. So I'm going to put hemi gum under this place where I separated so that they will, I can, so that the hip, hemi gum can keep them down. So I'll show you. So guys, I'm done with that. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. There's hemming gum already, so I can't lift it up anymore. And um, yep, hemming gum. So the next thing I'm going to do now is the attachment of the waistband. So I'm going to unzip this trouser, then start the attachment from here, like I showed you earlier in the video. So I'm gonna fold it like this. Then after that, so um, this trouser, I think there's going to be a um, zipper fly extension. Oh no problem. I'm not going to use a zipper fly extension. It's, 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 really good. it's going to be it's gonna be a normal zipper fly uh, trouser. So here how this is how to do the attachment. I'm going to place it here and you are going to sew it round. No, this is the wrong side. This is the right side of the trouser and um this is the right side of the waistband. So the right side is gonna face each other now, starting from where you mark. Don't forget to mark this place. So guys, I've already done the attachment. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to remove this excess material here. So I've already done the removal of the material. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is this. Look at it. You are going to make sure that, see, but this place is very important. This is our sewing allowance here. The sewing allowance is going to come up like this and not downward like this. Make sure it is up. And if possible, you can iron it so that it will, it can, the iron can keep it up. So now let's go back to, let's go to the other side here. There's going to be an extra material also, so I'm going to cut it off from here. So after I cut it off, so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is very simple. You, can, you know, this is the right side also. I'm going to turn it like this. And this is the wrong side already. Turn it like this. And you're going to sew from here to here. Then you are going to do the same thing on this other side. And um, But the way it is done here is slightly different here the way it is done is this you fold it from the wrong side to the right side like this hopefully you can see it then you are going to sew this place this is where you are going to sew just from here to here this is what i'm talking about so when i'm done i'll show you so i'm done with the stitches already i'm going to cut out this excess material here so now, then I'm going to turn it outside. Turn it in rather. 
not outside so i've already turn, done the turning in so this is how it's going to look then I'll, i'm going to the other side and i'm going to cut out some stops from here cut it like this then like this so i'm going to turn it in also you can aid yourself with scissors for a nice job be careful when you are doing this place so i'm already done with that so guys the next thing i'm gonna be doing now is this so i want to reveal something to you this the way we do this um bell trouser it is the same way we do the rope trouser the way the rope trouser is done is the the, 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 the difference is that we used to create some hole here and that hole that is where the um the rope is gonna so since we are not making the rope trouser no problem let's focus on the belt so guys i'm already done with that so the next thing i'm going to do now is this let me show you something here so look at this place here this is where our stitches is going to pass through not on top of the waistband and not on top of the trouser but in between the waistband and the trouser here this is where i'm going to stitch hopefully you can see um, i'll show you when i'm done so guys um thank you for staying with me so far i'm already done with that the stitch is already it's as if there's no stitch at all so now this is the wrong side this is how it looks you can see how nice the wrong side looks you can see so now the next thing i'm going to be doing now is the ironing of the waistband make sure you iron it perfectly then after this let me show you the next step after this the next thing you are going to do after this is this um you are going to experience this but no problem this is um this is the front panel the ankle and this is the back panel they are a little bit um far from each other no problem so now what is going to determine it is this this is what i'm going to talk about now how to join the the inseam of the trouser this is the inseam of the trouser make sure that this place are equal this is around the crotch area make sure that they are equal but if the legs are not equal there's no problem it's not going to affect your work when you are doing the hemming you will do something about it and make sure you are sewing our allowance is going to be half of an inch then after this the next part of this video is going to be how to iron this glute perfectly then let me briefly talk about um the this place here the flap the flap is very simple to do now so you are going to simply make a nice curve here up to this point here then i'll show you how to um to iron it properly and um, guys if you are yet to subscribe this is likely the best time for you to subscribe and if you grab any value from this video don't forget to, to give me a thumbs up that is by liking the video and comment and share with your friends thank you